the trip west begins now. All right, what's up everybody? So the plan is to drive from Bainbridge, Georgia to Denver, Colorado. It's about 23 hours. I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna start driving. I mean, I'm gonna drive up through, uh, through Mississippi up to uh, Kansas, Texas, Texas, no, Texas comes before Kansas. Anyway, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna get started right now. All right guys, so I just gassed up. I'm ready to go. I'm heading to Alabama, Mississippi, and then we're just gonna wing it and go from there. All right, what is up everybody? What is up? I am just driving. I think I have a stage five pressure ulcer on my ass right now. Yes, a stage five. I'm just uh, I'm somewhere in Mississippi right now, but I got stuck. I got stuck in the uh, in, in some tra bad traffic, literally for like an hour. I mean, we didn't even move. So uh, so yeah. So anyways, we're gonna talk a little nursing now. What better way to talk nursing than when I'm driving and bored and I just feel like running my mouth. So so let's get into some nursing talk. So guys, what I want to talk about today is talking about travel nursing and are you the type to be a travel nurse? I definitely think you need to somewhat have that extrovert personality somewhere deep in you. Not necessarily like driven so much as much as it is you just you just want to go explore things. Almost like that that kind of exploring personality. I mean you definitely want to have that if you're a travel nurse at least to get the best out of travel nursing. I mean there's there's all kinds of people you know don't get me wrong but you know you have to enjoy people you have to enjoy meeting people you kind of have to enjoy putting yourself out there putting yourself you know going and making effort to meet people to talk to people one of the things that I've always taken pride in is being able to uh, to you know just kind of meet people anywhere I go you know it's, it's something that I really uh, you know it's not for everybody I understand that but it's one of the things that I think kind of separates me from a lot of people is that I'm willing to go out there and talk to people. I'm willing to go out there and meet people and even put my ego on the line a little bit uh, many times. And I do that just because I really enjoy, once you break barriers down to people, talking to people and learning about their cultures, learning about their way of life, you know, not everybody grew up the same. So yeah, I mean, if you're, if you like that kind of, if you're that type of personality, an extrovert personality, I think you're gonna fit in really, really well as a travel nurse. Now, travel nurse is similar to how it is in the ERs in the, in the sense that you can get burnt out really quick. That's why I like to do my travel nurse assignments and, uh, and, and you know, kind of breaking up the monotony of whatever I'm doing. As I was being an instructor this past uh, past year, you know, that travel nurse assignment, the summer's good, good to break it up a little bit and, and, and kind of get out there and just explore and do things. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you're that personality, if you're an extrovert, if you like to meet people, if you like to put yourself, because there's going to be times that you're also, uh, you can be lonely. So you have to be somewhat independent as well. Um, independence, you know, that that's something that you have to, if, if you want to be a travel nurse, you have to at least like to be alone a little bit because that's going to happen. Um, even when you're on the floor, because you got to remember, you know, besides your social aspect of it, but you still got to think about the people you work with. You don't know any of these people, any of these nurses. You have to go into a new environment, and and you have to be willing to get into that new environment, and uh, you know, even even find the balance of projecting yourself, but also accepting people. That's another thing uh, I would say is a skill that is learned over time. Um, you don't want to project yourself too much, where you become just an asshole. But at the same time, you don't want to be a pushover. So what's one of the things that you just learn uh, as you go through life? Um, so yeah, I would say definitely independence, uh, being uh, being an extrovert, like enjoying, genuinely enjoying meeting people. Uh, that's one of the things I really, really enjoy to do, enjoy doing, is just meeting people. So you know, there's of course there's all types of, of travel nurses out there. And there's all, sorry, I'm driving right now, but there's all types of travel nurses out there. You know, no certain personality uh, is, is, 
is, is not going to fit for everybody, but if you're going to get the best of it, if you're going to really enjoy being a travel nurse, if you're going to really enjoy what travel nursing has to offer, then I would definitely say you need to have at least independence, uh, extrovert personality, and uh, don't take yourself don't take yourself too seriously because you need to be able to suppress your ego. You know, I talk a lot on uh, you know I do a lot of stuff on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm constantly always remembering, keeping things in perspective, um, constantly thinking, you know, not taking myself too seriously. I do serious things, but for me, social media, you know, uh, all the stuff that I do, this is kind of my relaxation. This is where I want to educate and help people, but at the same time, I don't want to take myself too seriously. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, just wanted to kind of talk. I'm in Mississippi, still with a stage five pressure ulcer on my ass right now. So, uh, so yeah. Anyways, guys, I will uh, do a checkup tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to push through. I'm gonna try to push through and make it to Colorado tomorrow. We'll see if I can do it. Peace out.